Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation, x power 4 minus x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and manipulate x power 4. This could be written as x square and then a whole square. Likewise, this could be written as x minus 1 whole square and then whole square as well. So therefore, this equation is going to become x square then whole square minus uh, this could be written as x minus 1 whole square then whole power square equal to 0 and now let's recall this famous identity the difference of two squares a minus b square could be equal to a minus b times a plus b so therefore our left hand side could be written as uh, x square minus uh, x minus 1 whole square times we are going to put down x square plus x minus 1 whole square equal to 0 and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it uh, on this part and on this part as well so therefore this equation could be written as x square minus when we open up this square, it's going to become uh, x square minus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 1. Likewise, this could be written as uh, x square plus uh, x square minus uh, 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, let's go ahead and open up these parentheses. So, this could be written, the first one could be written as uh, x square when we open up this parentheses we're going to change the sign so this is going to become negative x square plus 2x minus 1 and likewise over here is going to become x square plus x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and now we can see this x square and this negative x square is gone and here x square plus x square is going to give us uh, 2x square. Therefore, this whole thing is going to become 2x minus 1 times 2x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Since we have these two factors equal to 0, let's go ahead and separate them. We can write 2x minus 1 equal to 0 and the other factor we're going to equate as well 2x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and now let's focus on this very first equation let's move this uh, negative 1 on the other side become uh, 2x equal to positive 1 let's divide both side by 2 so our x value turns out to be simply 1 over and this is one of our solutions and here this second equation is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we are going to use and now let's look for the coefficients our a equals to positive 2 b equals to negative 2 and c equals to positive 1. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So this could be written as x equal to minus and b is negative 2 plus r minus square root of b square is going to be negative 2 square minus 4 times a is 2 and b c is rather is 1 all over 2 times a is 2 as well and now this could be written as 2 plus r minus square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 all over 4 now let's recall i i equals to square root of negative 1 where i is our imaginary number sometimes we call it iota 
So therefore, square root of negative 1 is going to be i and square root of 4 is going to be simply 2. So therefore, this could be written as x equal to 2 plus r minus 2i divided by 4. And over here we can see 2 is in common on the top. So we bring it out. We got 1 plus r minus i divided by 4 and here we can reduce this one so x is going to be simply 1 plus r minus i divided by 2. So let's go ahead and split these signs positive and negative signs so therefore we got two solution first is going to be x equal to 1 plus i divided by 2 the other solution is going to be 1 minus i divided by 2. So thus we got uh, three solutions. One of them is this one and these are two of our solutions. Thus here are our solution. One of them is a real solution and these two are our imaginary solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.